Okay, I want to be the ritualist. Heduana. Heduana? I mean, I like the purple. Let's do Celestin. Since it's a new place at all. New with each telling. Together, let's tell the story again and again. Mm hmm. Of those five fateful days when the sun cult rose against us. The heroes are different every time, the world changes every time. Journeys end, but stories live on. How will you be remembered? I don't know. Long Good question. This land we call oh, I can skip this. Okay. <laughs> We're nearly home. We need to find somewhere to camp before the first moon feast tomorrow. Ooh. Whoa. Voidful teleport. They say that this world is only a bridge between the one before and the one that follows, and yet she stays with us in this humble world when she could have any of her choosing. Why? Love. Perhaps we are her finest creation. After all, no other creature holds a first moon feast as bountiful as ours. He gazes into the moon's reflection. You feel more passionate. So sorry. Oh, I don't hurt a little bit. <gasps> what is this? Oh, the fox lifts his head and snarls, darting past you out of the cave. I want to be friends. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt the little bird. I was just trying to get the mushroom. Beyond stone. 
May I be guided by the Silver Sister and the Pale Dancer in consecrating this stone and in my travels. Okay. Sure you want to camp? Yes. Outskirts cleared. Long ago, before she became a hero, Hiduana was a sharp student of shadow magics. I'm a pushover. It seems safe here. Let's set up camp. Okay. I mean, I feel like I want intellect and faith. Intellect, faith, and spirit. But you know, I also want to discover more recipes, so <laughs> let's do that. Can you... Oh, you can't actually go back and use recipes. Okay. Let's do rice and berries. You discovered a new recipe for berry pudding. Berry pudding gives everyone plus three intellect. First moon feast. I'm not sure I followed all the steps of the ritual of face washing correctly last night. I hope I haven't brought bad luck. My sister said my breath smelled like an eel fart. <laughs> She's the imaginative one in the family. I heard someone in the village might be spying for the sun cult. They better not come near. My lead fish can't afford any distractions. Ah yes, Hero of the Ages, that's you, certainly yes, hee hee hee, especially when you spend your opals, yep. Increased maximum teleportation. Let's do gravity well last longer. Oh wait, I did talk to you already. Necroll the 70th. If the average person feasts on four small fish, two bowls of rice, and six moon cakes, how many barrels of fish should I open? I don't know how many people are here. The first moon feast binds all of the tribes together with the most important element in any ritual. Delicious cakes. Prophetess Iltani. The stars aligned to bless our first moon feast. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Our calculations predict uncertainty and doubt. But still, the feast must begin. The village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. The singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. Oh. This, then, is the uncertainty our formulas predicted. Still, together, we will pursue understanding. Heduana, seek out the other tribes and find out what has become of the Silver Sister. A sworn priestess may have insight. Even the freshest fish, fish tastes like mud without the Silver Sister's blessing. You 
cannot see it, but the fish are frenzied beneath the water's surface. They swim around and round as if mad. Without the moon, they are lost. My best delures do not draw them to bite. What should I do? No matter how patient I am, my family must still eat. But perhaps the sun... The sun? No. Perhaps the moon will return if I just wait. Gain patience and three endurance. Okay. The mangroves. there. What can I get? Orbit stun opponents longer. That's pretty good. Orbits penetrate through targets, hitting enemies behind them. Nice. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna break all your stuff. Bird answers with a low warble. Maybe someone can teach you to speak with animals. Zimud ignores you deep in prayer. eyes are wide, its ears quiver. Maybe someone could teach you to speak with animals. Ooh. Rafik Ganamad. When the twin owls of the pale dancer fly by sunlight, an ill wind blows. Oh. Seeker. Heduana. So your feast has been cut short as well. We have no sign here of why this could happen, but someone out there must know. Helpless fear hisses through the villagers' whisperings. Each tries to comfort the other. The whispering grows even quieter as you approach. They wait, staring until you leave. I mean, fair enough. Kirisha, mother of three. The Queen of Heaven has abandoned us. But why? What have we done? the dust folk bury their revered dead, consecrated by tears of the goddess. Spear speaks in a tongue that sounds like wind or sand. Kabel the witch, without the queen of heaven's guidance, how will we find the water we need? Thank you. 
Deep down the great well, you hear the splashing of water, but the rope seems only sturdy enough for one more pull. What does Storm mean? Oh, you carefully pack the water away for a true emergency, glad to have more than strictly necessary. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel horrible. The serpent appears grievously wounded. <gasps> Perhaps someone more compassionate would care. <laughs> Now cook with cactus for this and all future journeys. Nice. That's really cool. <laughs>
time for one of these to have a health thing in them. What, what do you want? The Holy Sun scorches both our souls, but only one of us is deserving. We got your weapons, he retreats, face harsh with rage. The cultist leaves in a hurry. It'd be nice if there was a merchant this way. And there is. Nice. Alright, I think that's everything. So now I gotta go all the way back to the camp. Clear. Rampage, your new trait, vengeful. Hiduana set out alone into the moonless night, little knowing what challenges lay in store. Hiduana's thirst for blood and destruction could not be easily sated. Sometimes I feel lost, directionless, without the moon to guide me. Nothing tells me what to do. What do you use to find your way? Instinct. My spirit feels stirred, muddied, without the clarity of moon without the clarity that moonlight brings. Perhaps we should pray to the Queen of Heavens. Pray that the Queen of Heaven's instinct brings her home. 
Whoa. Briefly, a vision of your shared ancestors shimmers by firelight. The secret will chide me for lapsing in my studies. I must return. Maybe I can join you when I am stronger. You have unlocked the ancestral witch costume for future adventures after this one is complete. Like does dark gaze give us? I do want to try to study the sky, but loses interest quickly and sings a song instead. Oh dang! I do want to gain two intellect and a reputation as foolish. A hunched shadow approaches the campfire. Hiduana, you previously previously stated that the silver sister remained in this world because she loved it so much. Thus, either she no longer loves us, or something prevents her light from reaching us. Which do you believe? Prevented. Hmm. Well, whether she's captured or dead, if she cannot overcome what is keeping her, then we also cannot. We are only mortals. So we might as well stop worrying about it and eat our fish in peace, eh? Who want- had to want to gain vengeance and three intellect. Oh, okay. Oh, as dawn breaks, a figure approaches the camp. Uh-huh, this guy. Yep, mm-hmm. You can swear fealty, but I must die. He ignores your words and retreats. Could the Queen of Heaven really be destroyed? Surely there is another explanation. Three days remain. Is that- no, I was just down here. Apricot. Um... I want to see the strange sculpture. This is an arena. Alright, let's do it.
will I be able to read this though? For Kurtsu, the search for hope and love is eternal. Okay. That gave me nothing. <laughs> the splashing of water. Let's drink this time. Oh. The life-giving water invigorates you. Like moonlight singing in your veins, you are healed. We are already healed. That's fine. Wow. Really? <laughs> Gee. voice rumbles from the stone. Your skin tingles at its power, but its words are from an unknown tongue. Repeat. You carefully repeat the words it speaks. A jolt rips through you, but you're uncertain of the effect. The statue is silent. That's because they kind of talk to animals now? For spirits? Faster. Hell yeah. 